Hey guys, how are we doing today? Um, <clears throat> well, let's see, it's uh, Tuesday morning. Um, we've, uh, in the UK, we've just come back from, a, from a, what we call a bank holiday weekend, which is a public holiday on a Monday. Um, so all my uh, English pipe smoking brothers, I hope you had a fantastic weekend, and to everybody else, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Ours was just a little bit longer. Uh, so um, this is just a really quick, uh, quick video. So I'm going to jump on uh, and and let you know because I'm pretty excited. Uh, something happened today. So um, I was in the kitchen over here uh, making some chocolate mousse uh, for dessert for tonight, um, uh, and there was a knock on the door. Got to open the door, and it's my local postman. Uh, and um, I got a, uh, a package. I, I know who that's from, so I'm going to give him a shout in a moment. But then the other one that came today was this one, um, and I know who that's from as well. Um, so I'm going to open up that one first, uh, if I can find my pocket knife. Um, so I'm just using a general, just a little sort of wooden handled pocket knife. Uh, I bought this about, uh, there we go. Bought this about three years ago um, from a little hunting, uh, well, hunting little uh, sort of hiking store in Yorkshire. We were up in Yorkshire, um, so there we go. So let's get into the sample. Right. Have a quick look, see what we've got. Uh, I think I might actually have to lower this camera a little bit. So uh, there we go. Wait for it to focus. Yeah. So, open it up, uh, and inside we've got uh, packing popcorn. A whole box of packing popcorn. So, uh, there it is. Oh, I'll try not to spill this everywhere. So, there we go. Um, I placed an order for this um, last week. Thursday, Friday, um, from an online tobacconist uh, called GQ Tobacco. So I've I've heard, been hearing loads about um, loads of guys smoking this and everything else again. So I thought I'd I'd give it a I'd give it a try. Um, I've never smoked sliced tobacco before. I've never smoked Orlik before. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. Um, so basically, the reason why I got this is because. Um, I was like Hillbilly 71, um, you know, he sort of raves about this one. And I know the dark fired one, but we I can't seem to find the dark fired one over here. So um, I've gone for Golden Slice. I'll see what this is like. Give it a quick, uh, might even this afternoon, uh, give it this a puff. Um, so yeah, so very pleased about that. Uh, and then a shout out has to go to um, Leo Middlefinger. Um, for championing the cob, so I've gone and bought myself uh, a country gent, uh, a bent country gent. So this is coming new, um, and it feels really good in your hand as well. Um, and I like the shape; it's got a nice barrel shape to it. I like that. It sits in the mouth properly. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy. You can have a good smoke. So yeah. Um, that's actually really nice, um, and of course it's Missouri Mirisham at the back. You can see um, it's a it's a really nice pipe. I really like this pipe. Looks at this. Um, so yeah, so um, so that was that, uh, and I got that from uh, from GQ Tobacconist or GQ Tobaccos. So I'm very pleased with that. That looks really nice. Got a good, nice smooth bowl. It's a decent bowl, but it feels it as well. So I'm going to load up, load up a bowl of that uh, later this afternoon. <coughs> now this little package that arrived today is um, from a smoking brother in Wales, also known as Pipe Smoker Wales. Uh, him and I got into Voxer the other night, uh, and we were just sort of chatting about different tobaccos. Um, and he said he would send me uh, a sample of a tobacco and I want to do this without cutting without destroying anything inside uh. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Well, well. Okay, so he's he sent me a couple of zip bag of samples. Oh uh, yeah, we see we were talking about this one. I don't know if you can see that. That says uh, Daniel Nightcap. Uh, we were talking about talking about that. That smells really good. That smells really really good. Um, yeah, look forward to smoke, trying that one. Uh, and a little bit of Dunhill Elizabethan mix, which is a lot lighter. And that smells really good as well. So that's a lot lighter compared to the uh, to the nightcap. Um, now I, he, I knew he had a fallout with uh, Solani, um, so he's also sent me some Solani um, aged burly flake. Um, Mmm, smell toffee for that one. I don't know why. That's really weird. Uh, and then the last one that I've got here is a um, a MacBaron vintage Syrian um, a ribbon cut by the looks of it. Um, and it also again, it smells really good as well. Um, so. Dan, thank you very much. Um, so I've got some MacBaron vintage Syrian. I've got some Solani aged burly flake, uh, which I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, and then two uh, two Daniels uh, tobaccos, uh, Nightcap, which I haven't. Uh, uh, I nearly bought some of this the other day, um, and um, but now I can actually sample it and see if I actually want to buy it. And then some uh, Elizabethan, uh, Elizabethan as well. So Dan, thank you very much for that, my friend. Um, that was very, very kind of you. Um, make sure everything's sealed up properly. And like I said, I've now got a, a nice uh, gen, uh, country gent to try some of those tobaccos in. Um, yeah. Um, so in my last video, I mentioned that um, the Rugby World Cup is coming on, and I got a comment from uh, Subdog Millionaire stating that uh, he didn't actually know that uh, there was a Rugby World Cup on and that the state was actually involved. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure how your sports channels work over, over the, um, in, the U in the US. Um, but yeah, g give it a shot. Um, and like I said, I know that you guys are playing. And the reason why I know you're playing is because um, one of the games you're actually playing against South Africa. Um, and the cap that I'm wearing actually is a, a Western Province Stormers cap. So this is our, this is my provincial team um, so they, they will choose players from, from each province to, to go ahead and, and sort of represent South Africa. Um, well, that's, that's it really, guys. I just wanted to come on board, uh, just say, you know, hi, have a good week. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, do a small little box opening. Um, Pipe Smoker Wales, thank you very much. I'm um, going to put those into a bowl um, definitely in the next couple of days. Um, and I'll, I'll give you some feedback as well as to which ones uh, I like and which ones I'm going to order uh, and things like that. Um, what else is there? Um, I'm about to go outside actually um, and have a, a little pipe myself. Unfortunately as you can see I'm sitting inside and I can't smoke inside. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a drizzle just now. Uh, a little sort of rain shower they came across. So I've got a pipe all loaded up. Um, so I can't wait to go out and uh, and light that up and uh, and enjoy the rest of my uh, my vacation, holiday, time off, time away from the office. So um, here we go, guys. I hope you have a good uh, good week up ahead. Um, and sweet smokes, guys. Have a